Aaron, Aaron Jones not practicing today? Is he just? I'm guessing he's a guy who's played so much ball and has been in so many meetings that you know a day without him is it's no great shakes as far as how Sunday goes. No, I don't think so for him. Like I said, you know, he's been around, rounded enough, and whatever he misses, you know, we'll get him caught up with. I mean, there's been times he's, you know, when he's been out there but had didn't practice, you know, physically, you know, and come Sunday, you know, he ended up performing at a high level. So that's what we expect expect again. What did you like, you know, in that first uh, drive of the second half that? AJ being, you know, what what did you like about those plays? Were they fit for AJ? I mean, were they more? No, I, I think it was more of a, you know, we've really been trying to, I don't want to necessarily just say just, you know, balance out, you know, the, the number of reps, reps, but, you know, there there's something that we always have in mind and it just felt like, you know, he, you know, I think the last couple of series, I think uh, Aaron uh, started those series and played a bulk of the rep. So I just want to, I like keeping him warm. So that's why I decided to, to start. I've done, I think this is the second time I've done that, that in terms of starting him in the, in the second half. What do you think of those young guys you got, those practice squad guys? See some potential with those guys? Yeah, I mean, the, the one good thing about, you know, Armstead, I mean, I remember looking at him, um, you know, when he was, when he was coming out, uh, coming out of a tempo. So, I mean, just seeing, you know, seeing him live, I was actually pretty impressed with just his, his quickness and some of the, his explosiveness, you know, that he has, you know, so that that's been one of the things that that's impressed me. And, you know, for a guy that, that really has missed the bulk of, of the year and now really getting back in football shape, I think that, you know, he's got a, a really good ceiling and what he'll potentially be able to do. It's going to be a, a, a huge challenge because obviously they, they load the box up pretty good. I think their front seven is one of the um, probably one of the stronger fronts, you know, that 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 we've seen, you know, just how, how physical that that they are. So that will present, you know, some issues. And, you know, then, you know, obviously you top that on with the fact that, you know, they got safeties, you know, that come, you know, downhill and they're probably one of the better uh, tackling secondaries, you know, that that we've seen. Been on um, Aaron's touchdown catch, so kind of a, a, from what Aaron described it as a broken play. Yeah. Is that just uh, Aaron's um, knack for you know what the heck I'll, uh, instinct that maybe I should just keep going? Well, or in, in, in part, um, but you know it's actually when we call plays like that, you know those keepers, you know. A lot of times, you know, the back, he's just over there in that area. And it just so happened that, you know, for whatever reason, you know, uh, the other Aaron, you know, decided to pull up, I think, because everybody was was covered. And, you know, Aaron just said, well, I just saw myself back there. So it was a true, a true broken play. But I'll, I talk to those guys all the time, especially like when you play with a guy like Aaron Rodgers is when he starts to scramble around, you know, you got to make sure that you have great awareness out there on the field because he's one of those guys that can find you and, it can kind of turn into like street football, you know, from that standpoint. And I think he's got a pretty, he's developed a pretty good knack for, you know, playing street football in, in those situations. You're talking about Baltimore's defense a minute ago. How, you like the way that your guys have, you know, taken a block, let's block for two yards and gotten four and, you know, continually getting a little bit more than it's been there. Seems like you guys have been pretty adept at that this year. Yeah, I mean, that, that's part of being, Part of being a, a good running back, I mean, it's you know it's one of those deals where I mean, there's going to be defensive linemen that may slide off, or you know, different like backers that when they start to load the box or put themselves in great position. I mean, if you're going to be a, a talented back, you have to be able to get more than what's presented to you. I mean, and plus, you know, I tell them that's how part of helping the uh, the offense function. You know, every yard counts, and any time that you run with great pad level and finish well and put yourself in great positions for the play to be productive. I mean, that's what we're going to need as an offense and definitely going to need that against, you know, a defense, you know, like the Ravens.